Right, so welcome back. <coughs> we need to give these variables some value and we're going to take the values from our character name our select box and each of these um, span tags here containing the modifying uh, values so we need to first give our input and our select classes so we can reference these and I'm going to go through and fill all these up to get the variables so here we have all the variables getting all the correct information the character name is taking the value of the JS underscore char character underscore name <coughs> the character class is taking the value from the select box and the modifiers are taking the text values from each of the span tags we now need to send this information over to our page okay so in our Ajax function we're posting our information to our create character dot function page and the data we're sending over is our mode which is create character we've then got our character name class and all of our modifying values <coughs> on the success we're returning a function message variable and for now we'll just uh, say alert message and that's done there so we come over to our function page and we need to create a new case and if this case is create character we're going to do something <coughs> excuse me so we're going to create some variables for each of the values and then we'll be back okay so the first one the first thing we're doing is we're taking that class and we're passing it through <coughs> and reducing it to integers and we'll just call it we're taking it from the post variable of character class and we're doing the same thing for the mod modifying HP modifying accuracy modifying dexterity modifying the might and so on okay so the first thing we need to check <coughs> is the modifier total value and this is going to be all of the modifiers values added together so the mod total equals the modifier HP plus the accuracy plus dexterity etc and if that mod total is less than 21 then we want to continue with the creative character else we're just going to echo out saying the stat modifier modifier values 
<coughs> has been tempered with <coughs> so as if anyone's a been able to try to add like a thousand stats onto each of the classes we stop it the next thing we're going to check is our character name so we can do another if check in here and we're just going to take this validate character function and we're just going to post put in there the post of character name in fact we will stick it up here first <coughs> Real escape. Oh. Escape string. <laughs> and then we'll pop name into here. If that equals, <coughs> um, what was it? Character name was is available then we want to do something else we will echo out saying character name oh, is invalid After those checks, we should be good to go to create our character. Right, so inside of uh, this if statement, we're running the query. We're selecting all from the classes table where the class ID equals the class ID we've selected and limiting it to one. We're executing the query and then we're just running another check to make sure that the um, query, the class variable hasn't been tampered with in any way. <coughs> so if SQL num rows is more than zero, then we're good to go ahead. Else, we're just saying there is an error with the class you selected. So in here, for now, we will just say pass, we'll echo that pass if everything becomes true and we'll give it a go <coughs> so we'll first try using a character name that's already been taken and it will help if we actually run the event on click on this create button of this create character function. We can save that and when we close it and open it up again it would have refreshed. Oh. So when we click create it comes up saying <coughs> character name is invalid. So we know that the uh, character name check is OK. We put in a, an available character name that meets all the criteria and we get a pass come up. So let's spend all of our points and try again and we still get pass. Now if I come into here and inspect the element this is our modifying HP so I'll alter this and just make it more than 20 so as you can see I've altered it to say it's 25 and when we click create 
it says the stat modifier values has, has been tampered with <coughs> okay so that's all the checks running fine we can now go into our function box and we will create our character we'll leave the echo pass so we can um, perform more actions um, through JavaScript if we part if the character creation has passed and has been successful. <laughs> okay, so here we have um, the character creation. After it's done this, if num rows check, then we're fetching the objects of each of the of uh, the return values. We're creating our final variables of HP, accuracy, dexterity, etc. by taking the um, database values and adding the modifiers to them. Re then running a query saying insert into user character and we're setting the account ID to the session user ID and <coughs> the character name to the name, class, etc. Create uh, the create date. We're using a Unix timestamp of now, and that'll give us the um, <coughs> timestamp for the moment that's added into the database. We're then adding the health, the max health, <coughs> accuracy, etc. And if the connect query um, works fine then we echo out the pass else we just say the character creation error please try again so I've added in the um, notify box that we had in the index page and I've also added the two functions as well the open notify and close notify on the success we're going to say if message equals pass Then we're going to do something else. We're just going to open notify and put the message in there, and we'll get that little pop-up box come th come up. Okay, so if it passes, then we unload the plugin and we load our load player data PHP page into the character hold div which is this part here and that should refresh our page with any with our new character inside of it okay so I'm adding in some predefined um, results here into some of the fields uh, credits I'm having at 500 location is your cabin luck is one and points is zero we save that and then I'll just empty our character user characters and come back over here and refresh okay so I've added my points I've filled out the form and click create and as you can see the first uh, character box has been filled and I haven't done the level so I'll go back and do the level in a second so that's it for this video when we come back we'll look at populating this um, box right here with all the correct information <coughs>